Harvard Crimson enter the year as favorites in the Ivy League, 10 and 4 in the Ivy to win the Coach Championship during the regular season. And for the second straight year, they fell in the Ivy Madness Championship game, falling to Yale last season, just missing out on the NCAA tournament. And this might be one of the best teams Tommy Amaker has ever coached. He brings back his top nine returning scorers, top nine leading scorers from last year. This highly touted senior class, which came in so hyped as freshmen, yeah, Chris Lewis, Bryce Aiken, Seth Towns, Justin Bassey, and more. This is their last shot to get to the NCAA tournament. They've been through a number of major battles. And then you add in a guy like Noah Kirkwood, who was an outstanding freshman scoring more than 11 points per game. He's back as a sophomore. I mean, on paper, Noah, this could be historically one of the best Ivy League teams we have seen. Yeah, they're just loaded. I mean, they are loaded, loaded, loaded. Their ninth best player could probably start, you know, on every other Ivy League team. And you look at their the variability of the type of talent they have. I mean, Robert Baker, Danilo Jurchich, Henry Welsh inside gives them kind of a versatile look at their bigs. Justin Bassey, their heart and soul, toughest defender, their do-it-all guard. And then Noah Kirkwood is a star who emerged last year, as you mentioned. Christian Zuzang and Rio Haskin on the perimeter. But the three biggest stars on this team, Chris Lewis inside, Seth Towns, and then Bryce Aiken, who had so many explosive performances last year. They are must-see TV. They're a team that's going to be legit, a top 25 contender the entire season. And of course, Coach Tommy Amaker knows how to deal with a loaded team with a ton of talent. He's done it there for years. They're, they are absolute must-watch basketball this season. Yeah, you do wonder if just the biggest challenge for this group will be managing those expectations because they're getting national buzz. There's a lot of folks talking about them as a possible second weekend NCAA tournament team. They start this season November 5th against MIT in their traditional battle of the two Cambridge institutions. They play Buffalo in Toronto this year at the home of the Raptors. That'll be an exciting one. Also play Texas A&M and, and possibly another really strong team at the Orlando Invitational and travel to Cal this season.